और कैसे हो बहन भाई टूडे थिंग राइट I I miss the old days when we would have Call of Duty and you could have spawn trap. This de dead ass happened in the original Modern Warfare 3 back in the 2011 days. Those were simple times. I'm not even going to I'm not even viewing this as like a bad news per se like if you can spawn trap or not. The only bad news here is that they are removing maps. They are deleting maps for the time being because of these these issues. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. The, the straight incompetency on Sledgehammer my ball Sledgehammer games is absolutely priceless just we mwah, I love it ladies and gentlemen quite frankly I love it this brings back a lot of memories like the video if you ever spawn trap uh in Call of Duty back in the good old days I remember I have those uh those memories i'm not even viewing this as bad news the only bad news is that these twats are removing maps because they cannot even fix it we got billions of videos mar war for three spans sigs laughing sigs are in urdu i'm like say yet dekho masti kar rahe hain khel kood kar rahe hain jump la rahe hain shipartar londe hain ye pain jo look look at that bro sigs be going crazy and this like made his like tiktok out here damn oh, homie damn your man coming behind like damn bro After this one, bro, skill-based match again is gonna be like, uh, bro. Try playing the next match, okay? And I'll find you. The the, the skill-based match again is gonna be hella strong. After this one, bro, this is absolutely nasty though. And the videos are not stopping. And there's another video that I wanna show you, bro. So we got this chick out here with like two megabytes, uh, two megabyte bitrate gameplay. <laughs> Look at that, bro! Oh my god, and it's lagging as well. There we go, boys. There we go, GGs, boys. Then this next video that I'm gonna show you, ladies and gentlemen, be ready, okay? We got some toxic gamers. Modern Warfare Three spawns go crazy. Is it safe to say zombies are trash in Modern Warfare Three? No, J four five six thinks so. Roll it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Story so far is non-existent. It's really boring. It's trash. Damn. It's literally just so basic and. Story so far is non-existent. It's really boring. It's trash. It's literally just so basic and generic and has no mystery to it. It's honestly Dang. mega mega boring to me. <laughs> like I do not care at all. I mean at all about the story so far. Man. Um I never thought that one day guys we will see a day where we will in Call of Duty Zombies menu. Does this look like a Call of Duty Zombies menu? Activision. <laughs> Does this look like a Call of Duty Zombies menu? So guys, have that at this point, bro. Y'all twats can have this uh, friendly UAV away. Y'all twats, this is exactly what you guys want, right? This is exactly what you guys want to have in in zombies, bro. This doesn't even look like a zombies menu. It looks like that Fortnite received the the zombies update. That's how it feels like. They literally butchered zombies. They killed zombies. But I have to agree though. Like I've seen the gameplay. The gameplay looked kind of odd though. If you wanna, if you played this without having any memory of the good old zombies, without having memories of the stories, the characters, uh, you know, the vibes, then it might be decent, right? Like that. That's how I view it. But let's let's keep on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see his cries. The. The uh, mission structure, everything like that, not having a main Easter egg, not damn. good. Um, yeah, do you guys care for the Easter eggs? Well, personally, I don't care for the main Easter egg. Nine out of ten times, I wouldn't even do the main Easter egg. But I do agree that, like, main Easter egg means story, like cutscene. I, I love the cutscene. I do love me them cutscenes at the end, and I've seen the cutscenes for Modern Warfare Three Zombies, and I gotta agree, those cutscenes are lit. But that's literally about it. That's literally about it. The cutscenes are amazing. 
the story is pretty much non-existing in the gameplay aspect. I guess everybody's waiting for Call of Duty 2024, but looking at this, knowing fully well that this was made by a Treyarch. <laughs> Yeah, Treyarch, I don't know guys, I'm not sure. I mean, at least we're gonna have GTA 6 to migrate to, but... But damn, I love the zombies, like, what's happening to zombies? Um, <clears throat> the gunplay itself seems like base, like, if you were just loading in fresh, you cannot go to the tier 3 zone and have a good mobile time. Game it's is meant this. to be that way, though. Aww. Oh. Mobile, mobile. Okay, Yoda, calm down. Um, yeah, speak, speak, speak. It's, speak. Not, it's way more DMZ than it is Outbreak. It's like the only Outbreak you think about it is it's on a big map and there's like objectives to do around the map. Story. All I gotta say here is that thank God I did not purchase. Thank God. Like the video. <laughs> if Don't you did not awful. purchase. And man, this is absolutely bull squash, bro. Before we get into the, some bad news, uh, I mean, this is not post squash. This is actually a W news, though. This is by far the only good news that we're hearing. Activision has warned Warzone cheaters that it may cut their parachute, so they splat on the ground. W. That's that is a W. We love we love that W, but that's the only W that we have because quickly after this sucker actually went crazy. So Bloomberg, I'm assuming that it was Jason Schreier who kind of broke the news. Jason Schreier recently came out, ended up leaking the GTA 6 and told the world that we gotta get, we ain't gonna get the GTA 6 trailer. Man, shout out to the homie Jason. Shout out to Bloomberg. They revealed GTA 6 news and yep, Rockstar Games did confirm we getting, we getting that right, the GTA 6 trailer. So I'm mega excited for that. M miss me with that Call of Duty, bro. Like, get the info, get them all, okay? But this story is wild. So the same Bloomberg that leaked news about GTA 6, they say new. Bloomberg's report says that Sledgehammer Games, Sledgehammer My Ball Staff, was frustrated with Modern Warfare 3's development. We can tell. We know what, how. Why wouldn't they be frustrated? Because the game barely got any content. These things are removing maps. 16, 16 maps, 16 maps, 16 remaster maps. Now these things are removing it because it's, the game is not functioning the way they want it to. Because they had to run decisions by Infinity Tards leadership. Infinity Ward, bro, they, these Sega should never make another Call of Duty game, bruh. These Sega should never be making another Call of Duty game, bruh. Don't let them make another Call of Duty. Like, have them for maybe, like, cleaning toilets or something like that. Because somebody gotta do that, right? I mean, that's also disrespectful to the, the actual workers that, you know, use their time and help other people out by making sure the toilets are clean. I mean, it's disrespectful to those people. I, I mean, I salute, I got respect for people that uh, clean toilets. Even I did that back when I was, uh, like a couple of years ago, back when I used to work in a restaurant. So, hell yeah, man. Like, these things, like, come on, man. Like, these things are incompetent as hell. Who took a while to respond to feedback and even step into making their own changes? I mean, I don't should. <laughs> And this is where everybody went crazy, right? This is where everyone was like, What? Infinity War execs reading a game? This was my surprise face. So like, ah, yeah, 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 I gotta agree, and I said it previously, bro, like, sledgehammer my ball, say whatever, but they at least listen to the feedback. Maybe they have to listen to the feedback because Sega's always trash their games. Maybe that's what it is, but at least they gotta, they listen. But guys, they really did respond to this one. Real quick, right after that story broke that they were struggling, I mean, they responded to Bloomberg's story quickly after. Infinity Tart would never even respond to the fans. Uh, I mean, I gotta give them shout out for that, credit for that, at least they responded. But they capping though, they capping. Statement from Aaron Halen, Studio Head AAD. They say we are incredibly proud of Modern Warfare 3. There we go, boys. So they denied the report. They're saying that we love our game. This is... And they are also, they have the audacity to say anything said to the contrary is simply not true. Bumbaka! Guys, click on this video on the screen. This is coming from a toxic gamer. Activision is really do be doing that. You feel what I'm saying? Check it out and I will see you right there. It's a, it's a must watch, guys. And bye!